Hello, everybody. Uh, we're really glad to be here for the second year for APNS Amsterdam, right? About uh, programmable communication, contextual communication. So I will ask you a quick question. How are you, Amsterdam, today? How are you, Amsterdam, today? Yeah, that's better, right? That's community, right? So this is why we're here. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's the uh, it's the second event on on programmable communication, right? And, and we have a lot of uh, uh, other events. So my name is Mehdi Mejawi. I'm the founder of APIs Conferences. So we started seven years ago. Uh, we st so we started seven years ago, and since these seven years, we've done 40 events, right? 40 events, gathering a lot of sponsors, a lot of attendees, right? 15,000 attendees. 11 different countries, 7,000 companies, right? So we really try to be community-driven as we were at the beginning, but we're becoming industry-driven too, right? And this is why we have an event specific on programmable communication, right? We also have uh, different events uh, all over the, the world and all over the year. Uh, the main one is in Paris with 3,000 people, right? So it's the, it's the main event. We have other events in London and Singapore on banking APIs, right? So another industry that is highly consuming APIs, right? And we have other events in San Francisco, in Melbourne, uh, right? In Helsinki uh, and, and in Barcelona, right? So these are all the events. Just to say for people on the back standing up, there are a few seats on the front. The event is sold out, so be sure that you keep your seat because <laughs> It will, be, uh, it will be quite packed today, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the interest we see uh, with definitely in APIs. So a lot of different events uh, there. Uh, so we're expecting like a lot of people in the next two days, 600 people over to the two days, right? In all the tracks here. And um, I'm really glad to say that uh, a, yeah, API Days uh, also launched a news platform called apiscene.io. Right. So if you go on apic.io, you will see a lot of articles, videos, content that is mostly published by the speakers after conferences, right, to continue the discussion with uh, attendees or people of the industry. So apic.io, you can check. There is talks on the business and the technical side, right? So quick question, who, is a, who has a business background here? More business background, okay? Who has a technical background? Who has both? Liars. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but like full stack, full stack uh, uh, professionals, right? We also publish reports. We have specific reports on security, on banking, on GraphQL, on documentation. So you can all f find them all on our uh, websites, right? So we publish content, right? And it's quite uh, insightful. But the, the main reason why we have built API Days is really uh, to be driven by the community to transform into one industry. Right? What, as often as I say, for the human behind APIs, the human behind interfaces, right? So what I will ask you, because we are here to learn about APIs for two days, but also to make connections. So what I will ask you is to talk to your right neighbor, introduce yourself, and to your left neighbor, and so you already have two insightful connections, right? So you have 30 seconds to talk to each other. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> we have breaks, we have lunch, we have cocktail to continue the discussion. But we're here also to make connections. It's not just a YouTube channel, right? It's, a, it's an industry event for net professional 
of API, uh, the business of APIs or the technical aspects of APIs to meet, right? Two connections, and I hope you will have at least like a dozen of insightful connections minimum for each of you for the two days. One important uh, topic that we have in 2019 is like, we want to have more women to, in our events and more, more women as speakers. So we know there are enough women practitioners uh, to feel like to be 50% of, of speakers or to really have a, a strong importance, uh, strong presence as attendees. So all over the year, please share the word to all diversity, like gender or other kind of diversities to be sure that, yeah, it's a, an inclusive place for everybody, right? But gender diversity is, is our main focus. But all diversities are, of course, invited to, uh, to API days. But yeah, it's a, it's a topic that matters to us. So yeah, um, and, and yeah, if we really want everybody to feel in, included in that event. We have one announcement to make. Last year, we started like the first event in Amsterdam, programmable communication. And that was the gathering of three companies. API Days, the conference. White Rabbit, like a strategy company about uh, APIs uh, and API, like say, programs. And Hotspot, uh, a company who know how to build really good products, like uh, communication products. So this year, we decided to make a joint venture, right, called Apiology. So we're introducing Apiology. So if we go back to the etymology of APIs, it was the, first, the term was created in uh, 1968, right? The first time application programming interface to really say that if we have the same interface, we can deploy software on as many hardware as we want. So scalability, reusability was already at the core of the etymology of APIs. And this is what today we're trying to build for the communication market, enabling scalability across IT teams, IT department internally, but also for businesses, right? The same interface to be able to, to be deployable in any internal or external organization to be integrated, right? So, so APOlogy, right? And, and for that, uh, and also announced, so APOlogy will be running the events, will be running the consulting company behind and everything related to that. So I will let the floor and the stage to the co-founder and CEO of Apiology, Rob Curver, that a lot of you know already. Please a warm welcome for Rob, thank you. Thanks, Maddie. Um, great introduction. I'm great to be here, full house, um, nine o'clock, Amsterdam Center. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm really happy with the turn up. I'm really happy with the progress that we've made as an event over these past six years. And I'm really happy with what we're doing with Apiology in the next years. Because we're going to do what API Days has been doing for a long time, a combination of events, consultancy, strategy, uh, reports, um, Putting people together, because it's all about people. I think technology, communication technology, is all about putting people first. Technology is there. We now need to make it more uh, human, really. We have some great talks about that today and tomorrow. Um, we'll have, as Epiology, a little booth in the sponsor village. So please come and talk to us if you want to know more about what we're doing and what we're going to do. We're planning to do... Well, I'm not going to say everything. We'll have a couple more announcements at the end of the day in the closing uh, about the plans for next year. So, this event today, we called it the rise of contextual communications because we think that there's a lot happening in this industry. Communications is changing from a boxed solution, one size fits all, to something that's really people-centric, human-centric, and that fits um, um, the workflow of people, the way people like to collaborate, and the way brands want to communicate with, with, with persons. And I think that's a big change that's happening right now. Um, about the API, day, API days in general, we try to cater to a mix of, of audience, developers, technical, but also business, um, CIOs. So really the whole stack from high to low, low to high across the board. And the thing that we're trying to accomplish with Happy Days at our events is really for people, as many explained, to mingle, to connect and to learn from each other, to learn from people that have 
done some of this stuff and have the experience to learn from people that have challenges, to learn from people that have technology, and really the focus of everything is learning. So really try to be learning as much as you can in these two days um, while you're here, talking to each other, attending the workshops, talking to the sponsors, um, and listening to some great speakers here and in the other room. We have more than 700 registrations this year, which is more than 50% than last year. And last year was actually nine months ago. Was so we're really happy with that. These are some of the companies that are here today and tomorrow and are going to be listening to three tracks over two days, four keynotes, four panels, 11 workshops, 56 speakers, and some great food. I think one of the comments we got last year was that the food was extraordinary here and we tried to, uh, to keep that the same and the rest we made bigger. So the whole event is about 50% bigger. One particular thing that we added is the track of workshops. So we have the main talks here, the panel sessions in this room. We have in the breakout room, we have some, we have some uh, uh, more uh, in-depth talks and presentations. And then on the other side of the building, uh, in a room called the Salon, we have 11 workshops of an hour each given by our sponsors. We asked up front who wanted to attend to what workshop, but rest assured you can just go, show up, first come, first serve. The room holds about 40 people and it's practical. All the workshops are practical. Sit down, bring your laptop and get involved and really experience what's being presented and being demoed and being shown there. Because of course doing is still the best form of learning. Um, the program you can find in the little leaflets that we had at the entrance, but also in the uh, app that we have for this event, Connects Me. You can install it, you can find it in the App Store and in the uh, uh, Android Play thing. Uh, sorry, I'm an Apple guy. Um, it, it gives you the program, but also allows you to interact with each other to see who all is here, reach out, set up meetings, um, see what's happening on the social channels. So it's a great tool, I think, to really get connected and to network and to know that you are talking to and who you still want to talk to. And finally, I want to give a big thanks to the sponsors that, make, that are making this event possible in, 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 in the form that is happening today. We got a lot more sponsors than last year, so... I like to think that we did something wrong there, uh, something right there. That was wrong. Um, really, a big round of applause, applause already for these sponsors, please. There. As you can see, we have sponsors that are representing the whole range of technologies and, and, and solutions out there, um, both on the API side and on the telco side, the CPaaS side. Because CPaaS is one of the things that we're going to be talking a lot about um, during these next two days, as it's, such, it's getting such a, a, a enormous traction. And then finally, um, as Medi said, it's a really, epiology is a combination of three components. It's the people, it's the events, it's the community business that um, API Days brings in. It's the, uh, the strategy part, the consulting part that White Rabbit brings in. And there's the practice part. And I'd like to introduce or bring to the stage, ask to the stage, a very special person that sort of introduced me to the world of WebRTC and CPaaS about five or six years ago. So it's really all his fault that we're all here together now today. Um, he's the founder, or he was the founder of a, one of the Euro European CPaaS platforms that was sold last year, two years ago already, to the US. And that's growing there now. Platform called EpiDays. And he now runs a business called Oddspot, where they really work on top of the CPaaS to build solutions using these APIs. And I think that's a great example of what CPaaS and APIs are all about. Uh, he's giving a presentation also tomorrow, but I'd like to ask him to the stage now and to explain a little bit about what we're doing here, what we're going to be doing here, why we're doing it, and introduce then the next keynote speaker. Luis.
Okay, hi everyone. I'm very happy to be here and very happy to see a crowded room. When I started in this industry like seven years ago, um, I, I think I knew like five people, so it means it's possible. Um, so yeah, I, m I have two passions in, in life. It's innovation and people. So that's why I joined forces with Mehdi and Rob. And I think the value uh, in innovation is really to share, uh, like Rob mentioned, to make products. And it's not an individual task, it's something collective. So uh, I got a lot of inspiration from events I attended, from meetups, uh, meeting with business people, with uh, CTOs, developers. And that's how you build nice products uh, for the users. So I'm more the user-oriented uh, uh, guy. So over these two days, as Mehdi and Rob mentioned, uh, we are going to see a lot of very talented and very uh, skilled people on stage, some very technical. Um, but when we discussed and set up the program, we really thought that we wanted to put this human touch uh, to start the event. Uh, so we picked a very famous uh, author. Uh, he's writing also for Forbes magazine and is super uh, expert in customer experience and customer relationship CRM. And yeah, to make us see the things more clearly in an original uh, way, because we all do technology, but we do it for people who are going to use it and for other people who are going to call or to interact uh, with these machines or with these people. So I'm very happy. Uh, to call on stage Mr. Adrian Swinsko, who is going to give us a punk lesson this morning. <laughs> Welcome, Adrian. <laughs> 